In a 225 square foot garage just off Government Street, Jacob Bennett finds both peace and inspiration. What began as a side project has now become a career for Bennett in the form of Agenda Trading Company, a handmade and custom screen printed outdoor apparel business. A few years back, he was in a band, and upon realizing that every band needs band t-shirts, he decided he was up for the task. In the beginning, he worked in a print shop and used a tabletop press in his kitchen. He finds a solitude in the garage, and though connected to his home, he finds it to be a good workspace. The walls are lined with shelves which house the paint and color needed for his designs, and overhead storage space is at almost full capacity. But how does he make his wearable art? First, he designs the image on Adobe InDesign. Then he prints it on a transparent sheet in a dark room, and once the design is on the transfer, he can take it to his printing press. The printing press takes up most of the space in his cozy workshop. In fact, in order to go out the back, you have to push the turnstile much like a revolving door in a hotel. The six-arm machine can easily be manipulated when pressing a shirt so Bennett can have six different designs going at once. After he dumps the color onto the transfer and presses it to the shirt, he must load it onto a conveyor belt where it gets baked onto the shirt in a hot oven-like contraption. Once it is finished drying and setting, he folds it up and either prepares it to sell at the market, to ship out for an online order, or to store for safekeeping just in case someone in the future might like it. I work from home. I'm a screen printer. Got my own brand and I've been doing this, I've been working from home a little over a year full time and I've been screen printing for about 12 years now. So the best thing about working from home is working from home. <laughs> um, most days I get to work in my pajamas. I get to do what I enjoy doing. I have a nine month old son that I uh, stay at home with. So it's kind of back and forth between getting work done and taking care of him. But I'm able to make my own schedule and um, just have the freedom to do what I want pretty much. I don't know if I'd consider myself an artist per se because uh, it's kind of subjective. What what's considered art, you know? I'm not an artist in the traditional sense of paint the canvas, but I mean, even people that build houses are artists, you know? That's an art form in itself. I can't frame a house, you know? Uh, even welders and mechanics, that's an art form too. So it's all perspective on what you call art. So in a traditional sense, I would say no, but this is a creative out uh, outlet for me. I really want to promote people to get outdoors and do more camping and I would like to get to the point where my brand is more than just apparel. It'll become a resource for people to get outside and to learn new skills and stuff like that with outdoors and potentially sponsor people and get them on hikes and uh, adventures and stuff like that and just outsource. I'm working on a YouTube channel right now and trying to do some of that. so. That's the end goal, just get people outside and make a lot of money. What makes the process so special is that he does it all by himself, from the initial design to finally folding the finished t-shirt. In the future, Bennett said he would like to open a bigger shop, but for now, this is just what he needs. In addition to his website and social media pages, he has created a YouTube channel where he posts videos about camping tips and tricks for those looking to explore the great outdoors. His hard work and charming attitude is enough to make anyone see that he loves what he does. His passion is reflected in his artwork and he is looking forward to where the future will take him, his family, and his business.